What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, Kelly Young. We're in my little 1856 Pro Drive because my bay boat is in the shop. We're right here dead smack in Stewart Inlet at an awesome spot that we've always wanted to snorkel, aka free dive, and see what's down there. We fished it a bunch, but today we're going snorkeling. We brought our spear gun, but we can't spear at this exact spot. We are going to go somewhere else where we can spear, but for now we're going to go look. Actually, Kelly's going to go look and tell me what's down there. I've heard there's cabaras. I know there's big snook. I know there's mangroves because for those of y'all that follow Kelly and watch her snook fishing video from last summer, I caught three limits of mangrove snapper right there by myself. It's May 12th. It's summertime. We've been hunting all over the country for turkeys and deer and everything else. <laughs> now it's time to unleash a bunch of South Florida saltwater awesome snorkeling just you name it we do it in florida and we're about to unleash fury on you guys we're going to show you videos of everything we do down here and i'm glad y'all are tagging along for those y'all that don't know that's kelly young and she's got an awesome youtube channel as well called kelly young my brother's deer meat for dinner i'm gabriel errington and i never say that in any video i never actually say my real name it's so cold it is not cold you big baby go all right on three one Two, three, go! Woo! Now while she's down there, she's checking under all these rocks. I'm sure she's seeing jig heads and lures of all kinds. It's just such a neat environment down there. There's a little bit of everything. Big gray angelfish, loads of mangrove snapper, small snook, big snook. It's a whole little ecosystem down here. It's so cool. I'm curious, go under this dirty water and see what's down there in that deep hole. Look at these giant snook right here. So about six months ago, I had this pro drive boat built. I've got an iPilot trolling motor that I can spot lock down, which means that trolling motor will hold me right here in this exact location. And when I'm fishing in real shallow water, I've got two power poles that'll do the same thing. It's just all murky right there, but there's hundreds of snook around it. It doesn't get clear as you go down underneath it? Look at these giant snook laying there like submarines. I'm going to get her back in the boat. We're going to go somewhere else and I'm getting in with my spear gun and we're going to get dinner. And then we're going to pull up to the sandbar and cook right here on the boat. I brought me a little grill. It's going to be good. Now, I don't normally load my, my gun out of water, but I want to show you all how I do it. I bring the first band to the first notch, the second band to the second notch. We got a reel, 300 pound test, a braided style line, sort of like braid that you fish with. I can pretty much spear anything that swims other than a whale with this. And if he tries me, he might get jacked too. Where's the GoPro, babe? It's right here. Okie dokie. A lot of people put their GoPros on their head. I hate it because I never know if it's working, so I tend to hold it in my hand. In Florida, you have to have a dive flag. Kelly had just taken it down because it was flopping, and that's all y'all would have heard. She's going to put it up. And I'll see y'all over here.
<laughs> we got dinner! I was bold but a toady! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we got lunch. So now Kelly needs to get dinner. She's up, I'm gonna take this to the boat. I guess you got dinner. I did. I don't know if there's something wrong with this fish, but it, when you look at the footage, it just stared at me and let me swim right up to it. It's all your beauty. It is. It's stealth. It's called stealth. Got him. We got dinner. Nice old sea ted. He might, he might be the last one here. <laughs> And just like that, we set up camp. We got our damn cooler with our drinks and ice. Got a little propane grill, one pan, a Danko knife, seven inch pro series. Couple fish to eat. Look at him, his nerves are still kicking. This fish has never seen ice. All I did was put him on a little stringer right behind the boat. And natural warmth water. One really, really cool thing about where we live is we can do this kind of thing pretty much all over the place, freshwater or saltwater. Now, if you're doing it in freshwater, you better be careful for alligators because they'll smell this stuff and come and run it. Doesn't get much easier than that. So many people knock barracuda and they're like, oh, it's not a great fish or it's got cigatera. Listen, there's not a better eating fish than this saltwater barracuda, just like this. Now, some of the great big ones that, you know, live in the Bahamas where they're around a lot of live reef and that's where the cigatera comes from, might be a hair dangerous, but look at that, very little bloodline. Beautiful meat. Yeah, I mean, beautiful meat. I could use a little bit bigger of a cutting board, but... <laughs> All you kids out there, you teenagers that are about ready to get out of school for summer, get you a kayak or a paddle board, or if you're using your own little boat that your parents have gotten you, or you've worked and got it yourself, get you a little propane grill from Walmart. They're like 25 bucks. Can Cooker also makes a really good one. Come out here, catch you a fish, clean it, and cook it. 
because I assure you when you have to move out of your parents house and you don't have your mom to cook for you or your dad shout out to all you single dads you're gonna wish you knew how to cook so I got my little grill on got a little pan now if you're wondering why I didn't cook on charcoal or something like that we're on these little islands and we need to respect them I dug a little hole put me a little windbreaker there and I can take this pan and this grill home with me and there will be zero trace that we were ever here. If you bring charcoal, it's just a pain in the butt. I don't like doing it that way. With the pollution these days, there's trash everywhere we go. We need to try to stop leaving so many footprints, if you know what I mean. Now this was just one little barracuda that was less than two foot long. And I highly doubt Kelly and I can eat all this fish. And she loves to eat fish, so that's saying something. Just putting a little bit of Lowry's garlic salt. The hardest chore you will find is getting your pan directly level in the sand like that. We're just going to lay it in there. Now, one cool thing is Kelly's like an egg fanatic. She loves eating eggs. And she recycles anything that we buy that comes in glass jars, peanut butter or jelly or anything like that. We put, we save it and she cracked four eggs and put it in here when the fish is done. All I gotta do is pour that in. Back in the day when we used to go hunting up on the river, we would actually do this, but with like two dozen eggs and it would last us like three days. We would just pour in what we wanted. I see all kinds of people doing these survival style videos. To me, this is just normal. This is how we grew up. I mean, there's nothing survival about it. I, I'm really against videos that are in my eyes fake on YouTube. I just can't stand them. And you're not surviving when you're driving a boat or you got a truck or you got a whole team of people. You're just enjoying the outdoors. That's it. So why not call it what it is? Just an outdoor cookout. We are on a remote island, but I can assure you we're not surviving. We got coolers and really nice knives and grills and a really nice boat. We're just enjoying ourselves. But can y'all smell it? <laughs> it smells good, doesn't it, babe? It does. After diving, I'm always starving. I want to give a huge shout out to all of y'all who went and followed Kelly Young's channel. And I'm sure some of y'all have found me off of her channel. Just thanks for all the support. We couldn't live this life without you guys. Both of us had what we call, quote, real jobs before this. Neither one of us have ever worked as much as we do now via YouTube. But I wouldn't trade it for anything. So while this is cooking, I want to show you guys something. So I took my kids the other day on a field trip, Jake and a bunch of his buddies, Tyrese, and his whole fifth grade class. And we went to St. Augustine, which is the first city in the United States of America. It's where Ponce de Leon landed. He came all the way from Puerto Rico. It took him almost a month and he landed right there in St. Augustine and they have a big fort and they have the Fountain of Youth. But the cool thing was is we got to explore with the kids. They got to watch a guy load this musket style gun and then shoot it. A Bolton. Have a car? Fuego. And not long after that, they showed us how to load a cannon and then shoot it. Fuego. It was just so neat to go up there with all those kids and, and get to see such a beautiful, most like, like that's where this, that's where catch, clean and cook started was in places like that. Because when they landed, they didn't have any cows or any of that stuff. They had to go out and find their food come back and make a little fire and cook it and st augustine if you get a chance and you're in florida or if you live in florida take your kids there i promise you you won't be disappointed and there is so many amazing peacocks i want to bring kelly back just to see the peacocks because that's literally my favorite bird all right so the fish is done it's literally falling apart that's the best thing about barracuda is it's such a white flaky fish it will just fall apart when it's done but now watch what we're about to do i'm going to add 
just a dash more olive oil. Take these eggs, shake them up one more time. Now the pan's gonna get messy, but guess what? I got a big dishwasher right here. We're gonna scramble in those eggs right in with the fish. Let them cook before we stir them for just a second. I wish there were some other people here to enjoy this with us because there's a lot. There is a lot. And we're just gonna stir it up. But I'm hungry. Fried rice without the rice. Barracuda and eggs. It's real. I don't think you can get much healthier than this. You could definitely survive a long time on this meal. If you were out in the woods hunting, this would give you the strength to do whatever you needed to do throughout the day. So I bet when y'all first saw me dump the eggs in there, you're like, that looks disgusting. But now that the eggs are cooking, look how much better it looks. Mm -hmm. Man, if we had some grilled zucchini to put this on. Oh, that'd be perfect. Oh. Look at that. And it's done just like that. We didn't bring any plates. We didn't bring anything to eat off of except for this cutting board. And that's all we need. We didn't use any soap or anything that's unnatural. So I can take this pan, stick it right over there in the water. As soon as it cools off, I can clean it. Turn that off, pop that up. We're ready to eat. But like I always do, I'm gonna let Kelly eat first. So I'm gonna swap, give her a fork, and let her tell y'all how this tastes. What do you think, that's fast food? This is where I'm supposed to be in life right now. On the water, good food, healthy food, fresh fish. And one, one annoying bug. One annoying fly. <laughs> but where's your plate? I don't know what it is about women, but y'all definitely can eat. <laughs> it is true. What's it taste like? Mmm, it tastes good. It tastes like fresh, white, flaky fish. Really good organic eggs. Mmm. And we've been diving and swimming all around the islands. So that's when my appetite builds up is after I'm diving. So I can eat this whole thing right now. So good. You guys just saw us catch it. Clean it. Doesn't get much easier than that. And cook it. But can y'all smell it? But I want to talk about something to me that's way more important as we're coming into summer and a lot of you are going to start boating. So Kelly and I have only been dating for like seven and a half months. Before her and I started dating, she really never helped anybody put a boat in the water. So when we pull up to the boat ramp, there's always people parking in the way. Somebody's putting their boat in the water and they have their wife or their kids just holding the rope and the husband goes and parks the truck and they take up the entire ramp for 15 minutes. I want to challenge each and every one of y'all that uses a boat ramp to teach your son or your wife or your daughter whoever's with you, how to drive the truck or the boat. That way, when you come into the boat ramp, you back it into the water like Kelly does me. I get on the boat, I pull around and park. I'm out of everybody's way. Kelly parks the truck, bada bing, bada bang. We're not taking up any boat ramp time because growing up as a child, the only fights I used to ever see was at a boat ramp. And half the time it was my dad telling somebody off because he had us kids in the boat we were hot, we were ready to go, and there somebody was taking up the ramp for 15 minutes doing stuff that they can do other places and not be in anybody's way. So I'm telling you, you gotta help when it comes to boat ramps. Now, if you don't use a boat ramp, please ignore this ramp. But if you do use a boat ramp, try to do it in a timely manner so you can respect everybody, and I promise you it'll even make your day better. And just like that, you guys can see, there's nothing left but footprints actual footprints no trash no charcoal no nothing it can actually be done somebody can go out into the outdoors and not leave any trash that is one of my biggest pet peeves in life is the amount of trash kelly and i see everywhere and i'm not going to say that a can or two hasn't blown out of the back of my truck but 
we all need to start cleaning up because even out there in a hundred foot of water when we're tank diving, we see trash. But right now guys, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching me. It's summertime, we're just getting started. We got Bahama videos and we got Keys videos. I got deep drop videos and we'll even do some more hog hunting videos. But right now, I'm going to get back on this Pro Drive 1856, put my power poles up and head to the boat ramp because at 2.45, which is in 30 minutes, I gotta pick my kids up from school. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out Kelly Young's channel. Thanks for subscribing to mine. And if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. That way, every time I upload, you get notified. But like my 10-year-old Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.